again. This video is a little different because I was finally faced with the daunting task of organizing the other room. While redoing my room, I simply threw everything in the guest room so I could deal with it all at a later time. Well, that later time finally came. <laughs> I got to work on sorting things out that I wanted to donate and cleared as much as I could so I would have room to rebuild the furniture and hopefully have room to start organizing. It was a lot all at once and mostly unpleasant, but I took my time and got it done. I wanted to treat this room with as much respect as my new bedroom because I used this room for a long time and I felt like the space deserved nothing less other than my love and care. This is also not my house, it is my family's home, so this room is their space as much as it is mine. There were times that I got so overwhelmed that I had to take a moment for myself. My brain doesn't do well with clutter, so I got burnt out quickly over and over while trying to get this all done. Over the past five to six years, I have lived all over the place. I've lived in different states, I've lived in apartments, dorms, and even other communal living situations. For a time, I was traveling so much, I was even living out of a suitcase. So, over time, I have collected the things I needed in each area so I could live comfortably. However, this means now that I'm living in one official place, so are all my things from each place in the past. A lot of it will be more than useful for when I finally have a house of my own so I am determined to organize and pack it in a way I won't have to stress later on. All right, so my camera died. <laughs> um, and I don't have a second battery, so during the time my camera uh, was charging, I reassembled the twin beds they're all made everything is cleaned underneath them um, I pretty much have like that area <laughs> to figure out and then I'm moving Hi. I have a lot of different plans <laughs> um, it's been tiring, but my motivation is still high, so I think 
I should go ahead and just continue. <laughs> So I'm gonna tell you something funny. And uh, sorry mom if you're watching this. This little rocking chair freaks me out. <laughs> um, it has my baby handprints and footprints on it, but it looks like bloody handprints and footprints. Um, and it's a little child rocking chair, and I'm like terrified that someday it's just gonna start rocking on its own. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I want to use some money I have been saving to invest in solid storage totes. When I have those and some packing paper, I want to organize and pack all my things. This is a goal of mine for the near future. I am definitely not done with this room yet. I still have a ways to go, and I think I finally felt the weight of all my tasks on my heart. I had a period of time where I had to stop because I had too much anxiety about all these projects. I felt utterly overwhelmed and felt like there was too much to do. I got too much in my head at some point and started to think I wasn't doing it all well enough, that I wasn't working fast enough, and that there were probably better ways of getting everything done. I know now this was all just a spurt of self-doubt stemming from the chaos of clutter that was taking over my whole personal area. So I cleaned up as much as I could and took a day for myself. I definitely needed it. The warm sun and fresh air reminded me of how much I have done and how far I've come. So I am so, so proud of myself once again. I wish you all the best.